Oh my goodness, been doing a cinnamon Amish friendship bread and uh, got them all inside the oven there. There's five little Duma Fletchies in there and they're to cook an hour and this one we didn't have to use, put there. And I went by and got some La Nueva Tortilla Rios flour tortillas and these are really good, like mega super uber homemade, really fresh. And I had to make sure we had a variety of jalapenos, and it's not all of them, but just to give you an idea. So we got those. Now, for the real meal deal, for those of you poor souls, which is most of you out there, you have never had the amazing, delectable experience of eating those. Homemade, no preservatives, no MSG, no nothing, just ground up jalapenos and different kinds of spices. And most of the time, it is turn you loose and set you free hot. Sometimes it's less than. Right here is that wonderful jalapeno pie, what's left of it. Mm, getting pretty low there. Kind of a bad, bad deal there. So I'm gonna make some soft rolled tacos. Got uh, big old bags of chips over here that they are actually cook up themselves with that tortilla rio from up. Oh, here's the other two, jalapenos. So I made sure, I was tired of running out, and so I just thought I'd buy different sizes, varieties, and that's eh, all a variation on the theme. And yes, we're going to go ahead and do the magic thing over there and with somebody who has yellow legs and a hairy butt and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can do one of these things. I don't know if I can. I don't think I'm smart enough. I'm supposed to be able to turn it around. So she has been there monitoring all activity in the kitchen, watching closely as we're cooking these cinnamon anomish breads and uh, buzzing about, getting ready to do a load of dishes. But it's just going to be simply amazing when I approach that area over there where there's doggy bones, Danish butter cookies, and a silver object on the floor. So let's see what happens when I take said yellow object over there. Yeah, that one right down there. Just carefully monitoring. And let me turn this camera back around and then let's see what happens. Okay, so there's the thing there. And there's the thing over there. And there's a silver item there. So I'm just going to walk over there and, and just scoot things around, act like nothing's happening. I don't know. There's bread over here, Danish butter cookies. And there's a puppy dog head. I wonder what happens if I remove that. Wow. This is a first. Oh, she's behind a chair and can't see what I'm doing. So we'll go ahead and speed things up since she can't see what I'm doing. Oh, wait a minute. She heard. She heard it. Hi, who are you? Are you a big yellow stomach that has legs and fur? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say, a big sweet yellow stomach with legs and fur. If I could get you to bark and say, burp, burp, I would, but you never utter a noise other than just a grunt here and there. But you shake, you're ambiposterous, aren't you? Yeah. So shake with that paw. Can you shake with the other paw? Shake. Shake over here. I know you're excited. I mean, my heavens, you've gone an extra six hours without food. What is a dog to do? Go in circles. So let's see. Sad silver object over here. Hmm. Grab that. And oh, it's on. It's on. Oh, my word. Yeah. It's going to sniff, lick them chops. And I will let her come out here and inspect her food. Do you want to inspect your food? You can come out. Inspect your food. Let me turn on the little light here. Yeah, it says dog food. Yeah, and that nose goes right to that dog food. So let's see what happens. Do you want to inspect it? 
Yep. Do you inspect it? Does that pass your? I think it passes her approval. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get an outfit for yeah for a puppy dog like you. Cool. Oh, and she runs back in in anticipation of some good grub. And if it's not good grub, she runs back in in anticipation anyway. Oh, oh, are you gonna run around? Huh? 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 We're gonna we're, we're gonna do big circles today. Yeah, big circles today. Oh my goodness, big circles today around the kitchen. Oh my goodness, big circles today around the kitchen we go. And she's right there. She's my shadow. Oh, hi Chauncey. Hurry up and give her her food. Did you have a comment there? She was just doing little tricks for you. Yeah, it's because she's cute. It's because she wants her food. Okay, she's cute and she wants her food. I told her she I told her she was a cute stomach that has four legs and hair. And a nose, it's my and and some ears and a collie. How did that song go, Chance? You are cute, you are sweet. I really think you are neat with the big long nose and a little hairy butt. How did you get to be a, a stinky mutt? She said, well, I'm stinky because ain't nobody giving me baths. And then the second part, I don't know if I can remember. Something like, you are cute, you are sweet. I really think you are neat with the wet. How do you remember it goes? Floppy ears and a little waggly tail. Why do you have such Dad, a puppy smell? Can you bark? I, I mean, I've heard you bark maybe Bark. 10 times. Bark. Bark. Oh, oh, well, we got noise. Bark. Oh, bark. 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 Can you bark at all? I mean, for you to bark is the few times she's, the, the, for the far few times we have, for the few times we have ever gotten her to bark we all jumped up i'm not not kidding you we all jumped up and ran to the backyard it was a summertime and we're like oh my gosh what's wrong and i mean she was really going after it i mean this is the dog that just doesn't bark do you make any noises do you bark if you'd bark i'd be really impressed well now that was a noise Huh? Okay. Enough torment and torture. Let's go over here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go over here to the glucosamine cup. I'm going to grab two glucosamine this time and put them in there. And one, a two, a three. Oh, no, 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 Got Manhattan steamroller in the background. And while you're doing that, let's go over there to the aquarium. Oh, Christmas quilt has been hung. For those of you who have the pleasure of knowing my stepmother and her amazing work with thread and needle, absolutely. What did I say? Oh, I apologize. My mother-in-law, uh, wonderful lady, absolutely gifted with thread and needle, and just really amazing. I mean, well, okay. Let's see if I can. I don't know if this will show up very well, but it's individual threads, and she did different textures on them. And it would take her about a year to do a quilt, and she would work on each square for approximately a month. 
almost every day doing something with every square two, three, four hours, just I mean nearly obsessed with it. And did quite frequently her own backing and all that quilting and whatever else you do to it. I mean it was just quite amazing work. Featured on the World uh, Quilt World magazine five different times. Um, just truly an art form. It has nothing to do with feeding the animals. So there, you've given, given your quilt lesson for today. All right, let's go over here and find, oh my, we do. It's called seaweed. It's a seaweed day. So they have to eat stinky, nasty seaweed, which they seem to really enjoy. Um, am I opening the wrong side? Let's see here. Yeah, it helps if you get the right side to open. It actually helps a lot. Okay. So I'm take this and rip it in half. Y'all have seen this routine before. Look at them. Look at them. A bunch of little piglets. I think it's feeding time or something. Well, they're right. Green Machine probably won't come out this time. She doesn't come out whenever I do seaweed only. So let's take this. Now, no biting me. Dory. Dory will every once in a while take a little nip. She doesn't mean to, it's not anything personal. She's just hungry, poor baby. I mean, she only gets fed every day. You know, I mean, think about it out in the wild. Would they really get fed every single day at about the same time? Maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know how that works. I've never run a fish. But I do know this. I love them, they're cute, and they bring joy to our house. And there's Watchman. He's always watching. He just sits there and observes and studies. And the paintbrush, feather duster. I always call it a paintbrush, it's a feather duster. Still alive, so excited. Some bubble coral, that one struggles off and on. Not real sure why, it just does. And then it'll suddenly come back and look all healthy and happy. That bubble coral has always done pretty well overall. Okay, now let's go ahead and get another piece of seaweed in here. So that the fish have something more to fight about. Yes, ooh, look, more seaweed, yes. Another flavor, not. And that, ladies and germs, is another feeding at our household of the fish. <laughs>